Hello everyone. Welcome back to more Final Fantasy 14. We are here and ready to continue the Arcanist quests. Um, and before we get too into, you know, handling Arcanist, um, I do want to sort of say one thing um, about Arcanist here. That's what it was. Um, I do want to say one thing about Arcanist, and that is that um, I have, I had, and still have quite a few complaints about the the way that Arcanist slash Summoner works. Um, but I have to say, having finally gotten myself motivated and willing to like try, uh, excuse me, sorry, I have finally getting myself motivated and willing to actually, you know, try Arcanist further, um, I have discovered that Arcanist is actually not as bad as I had originally thought. Um, my biggest complaint, honestly, you will, lies with Ether Charge, um, which is like the the skill you have to be in combat um, in order to use Ether Charge, which doesn't really make any sense because all you're doing like it doesn't like affect an enemy or anything um in fact you can use ether charge without even like have having a target or anything um and so like I, I, my complaint basically is that like the the ether charge sucks but and i can't show you now because it's a summoner ability um, but I believe at level 60, maybe it's level 58, um, Ether Charge becomes a separate ability and, be you know, changes and becomes, like, better. Um, and after that change, Ether Charge is not nearly as unfortunate and bad. Um... Also, I have to figure out, I have to remember how I have this stuff set up on my bars. I, I need to get on Cassandra, my main character, and like double check my um, hot bars and stuff. So, I think Guildmaster Thubber Game appears unusually distressed. Greetings, Kazumi. In case such doubts fill your mind, you should know that I am ever willing to lend an ear if you find your thoughts troubled. At the very least, I would have you know this, but it seems that Clea does not. The Force Ear has been missing since this morning. They have, they have, there have been other times when she has disappeared without a word, but we have always been able to find her. Alas, that is not the case this day. With the Guildmaster here, he could deduce her whereabouts with nary a moment's concentration. I find myself beginning to wonder if those who devote themselves overmuch to Arcanema are much prone to bouts of wanderlust. But while I might wish to ponder further such oddities of character, we must need to organize a search party. Would you be so kind to make inquiries in Harker's Alley? It's not uncommon for Clay's wanderings to take a path through the markets. All right. Um, but yeah, like, I, I have some complaints with the way that Summoner works. Um, my biggest complaint really is just that you're basically just sitting here casting the one Ruin spell, um, which is true even at like level 60. Um, like you get, you can cast like Gemshine, um, and I believe there's Outburst and Precious Brilliance, which Outburst, or Precious Brilliance is basically the, um, the, the, the gem shine of Outburst. Um, it becomes, like, Ruby Outburst and Topaz Outburst. 
um, an emerald outburst. But yeah, it's again. I I have complaints. Um, I I feel like there's definitely more that should have been done, but um, I I've become comfortable with the way that summoner works by level 60 um comfortable enough that like i should say comfortable versus like you know black mage or red mage or any of that which is th those are terrible classes by the way you see him at cut of milvin's gate like yes i have seen her Spoke with her, in fact. She was, however, apprehended by the Yellow Jackets. The assessor was drilling me for details about a and smuggling ring based in Aleport. But then the soldiers arrived and took her away. She wished to know her fate. Then I suggest you speak with Gennade of the Coral Tower. Uh, I... I don't actually know what place that is. That's the Marauders Guild. <laughs> I... I used to know Limsa pretty decently, and now I have no idea because I don't come to Limsa like ever. So it's unfortunate. For Seer Clea, yes, we brought her in for questioning regarding the reappearance of the pirate Dosmaga. Member of the Arcanus Guild, are you? I see no reason to conceal the nature of our discourse. Perhaps you're already aware of this, but the Forcier was once held captive by that rabid sea dog. Few pirates sink to such depths of depravity as Dusmaga. It has been six years now since he was exiled from Limsa Laminsa for engaging in the worst kind of black market trading. And now the villain has returned. He is, however, both cunning and cautious, and continues to evade our troops. Thus, we hope to borrow the knowledge of Forseer Clea, whose experiences have given her an intimate familiarity with the way the scoundrel operates. At least, that was our intent. After weathering a barrage of questions from the assessor, we find ourselves, instead, providing the details of our search. Should you speak with Forseer Clea, I imagine she has already returned safely to your guild. All right. <laughs> Back to the Arcanus Guild. We came out, we left the Arcanus Guild under, you know, Thurber Green. And then we came back to the Arcanus Guild. Is Clay here? Pack already. We're led to believe she had returned here. I am afraid not. Hmm? So the Yellow Jacket told you something of her history with this manga, did they? Perhaps it would be best if I told you the entire tale. The smuggest banishment was the result of a surprise inspection that revealed his involvement in an underground slave trade. The assessor that stepped aboard the pirate's merchant ship spoke of finding dozens of unwashed unfortunates crammed into the squalid hold. Among these prisoners was a young Makote, destined for some black market auction block. Though Clea was initially too terrified to even speak, the guild master brought her out of her fearful days with the gift of an, in of an initiate's grimoire. Yes, the self-same tome that she carries, that she has carried her entire career. I, of course, did you not mention that Clea's grimoire was thrown into the sea? There are rumors that a teacher and merchant of ill repute has retrieved the black market goods the crew of the Morning Star heaved into the ocean. Even now, he gloats over his salt-encrusted catch in Aleport. It's entirely possible that the Forsier's most prized possession was caught up in the teacher and salvage net. I have no doubt now that Clea has reached the same conclusion. To airport with you, Cosme. That is where you will find our wayward assessor. All right. Off to airport. It is so hot that I have, like, heat rashes all over my freaking, uh, like, knees, elbows, and even, like, my hands. 
And it's really annoying because I keep like scratching without even like thinking about the fact that it's rash. And I'm just like, oh right, I should not be scratching the freaking rash that I just have literally everywhere. And it's really annoying. Hey, there she is. It's Clea. Oh. Yes, yes, Cav combat pattern 256. Should serve, serve to cover all expected contingencies. Never know when you'll have to nullify a thaumaturg or two. My retrieval strategy is complete. Because of me, it is good, to, good of you to come. I was unable to calculate for certain if you would piece together my movements in time. Very little is certain when so many variables are involved. But there is good news. The prisoner here has kind enough was kind enough to confirm that the traitor who salvaged the morning stars Jettison Cargo did indeed retrieve a tome matching the description of my lost grimoire. The Minson Law and the policies of Melvin's Gate would support the confiscation of goods connected to an official inspection. But alas, my personal belongings do not fall under that definition. Thus I intend to launch an unofficial offensive against this black marketeer and his cronies. The peddler has already departed for Candlekeep Quay. It's time I gathered to me such allies as I possess, and I count you as one of them, Kazumi. Despite the nature of this endeavor, Mistress Thubbergeam has offered me her cooperation. If you would, pray join her at Oshikan's embrace. That's where we shall am ambush this disreputable Chichiren. I have no idea where the frick Osha o Oshan Yeah, Oshkan's embrace. I see. Uh guess the easiest way is just there. To Morby Dry Docks. Hey, Ashkan's Embrace. Here we go. Right over here should be where we're at. Thumper game. Greetings, Kazumi. Your arrival completes our small company. You are equipped for battle, I entrust. We will not await Clay's arrival. Once the teacher appears on the bridge, we spring our ambush. The strategy for trapping our target relies on the two allies we have concealed on the other side of the ravine. This pincher maneuver was, naturally, the foreseer's idea. As for the target himself, the teacher is known as a cautious and careful fellow. He travels with a small retinue so as to avoid attracting attention. But do not be fooled. More bodyguards follow at a distance and will likely join the fray after hostilities ensue. Do not, however, expect any, assist any assistance in the Yellow Jackets. They cannot be seen aiding us in what amounts to a personal matter, but they are willing to turn a blind eye for Clea's sake. In any case, the Forseer's tactics account for our limited numbers and individual strengths. Victory is all but assured. Now, let us take up our positions and wait for the Chitrin to arrive. All right, let's do this. Onward, ho, pincer maneuver. The ambushers, they want Kikaru and Sparklies. Ambush them. Yeah, like, here I am just casting Ruin, and it's the only thing. So then it's like, okay, now I use Ruby Carbuncle, and then I slowly cast Ruby Ruin twice. And then I can cast Topaz. And sure, Topaz is an instant cast, but you notice that it does very little damage. Kikarin not scared, Kikarin have scary spell slingers.
counters, just as player predicted. The shift to combat pattern 158. Kazumi, focus on the conjures and blunt their heal. Which ones are the conjures? Oh, this guy. Oh, it's a Mamuza! How about that? That said, um, later we'll get Ruin 2, voice crack, which is like a faster cast and it's more powerful. So, I think my main complaint about, you know, how all of this works is just, you know, the fact that freaking... You are literally just casting Ruin over and over again. And there's literally nothing else that you do. You know? May I spy a thumb for Quick and switch to combat pattern 256. Even an untold mage can wreck. Even a lone mage can wreck untold havoc. First you attack on the thumb for first. I would, but where are you at? None of these are Thom Turg. I think Thom Turg is already dead. Because none of these are Thom Turg. Appears to be the last of them. Now, to find the four seer Grimoire. I like that she ran all the way back there to then run forward. Yeah, I think the Thaumaturk might have just been dead already. <laughs> Taint Clay's Grimoire, yay! That was odd. I had to move in order to get the duty completion. And I don't know why. Well executed, everyone. Were you able to retrieve my Grimoire? Causing me pray hand over the tome. There you go. It's ruined. My wonderful grimoire is ruined. The probability of repairing this degree of damage is zero percent. Even the most brilliant strategy cannot under undo such ravages of seawater. I've never felt so defeated. I believe it is time I returned home. Leave her be. But how can I? He is right, Estoda. You must allow Clay a time to process the loss. And you have other matters to which you must attend. Come, Cosme. This time we return to the guild as well. Ah, oh, poor Clay. I do feel like really bad for Clea because that grimoire is very important to her and then it just got completely destroyed by the freaking water. So, could not remember where the Arcanist Guild was. It's the, you know, at the Arcanist Guild. I was thinking the Rogues Guild, admittedly. So I was like, Let's see, I gotta go to the, pla the, the place that's not the guild. You know, cause I think like Fisherman's Guild to then run down there, so. Not quite the victory we imagined, was it? The moment Clay beheld her soaked and tattered grimoire, we could see the light of hope die in her eyes. There is, however, something we can do. I will call on your aid soon, but in the meantime, you would be well served to deepen your knowledge of Arcanima. Alright, gonna go ahead and apparently grab these shoes. They're vastly better. Not that I can equip them yet. I still got like a whole level. Um, yeah. Good thing I didn't grab the robe, cause... Um, but yeah, I think it was just like the gloves and the shoes anyway that were claiming that they were better, so... Okay! 
We are all caught up in quests, or class quests, for now. Um, which means that we can continue on with the, the main storyline. Um, this is level 24, uh, so I will have to get these, you know, extra classes up before they can start tackling any of this stuff. Um, but I can switch over to Puglist for now. Um, to start tackling like the uh, the quest line here um, and yes we do still have some Vesper Bay etherite um, tickets here so might as well go ahead and use that to head on over and talk to Tataru because now we are all caught up um, Let's see. Mere moments after Commander Huloy bids you send his regards to Minfilia, she contacts you via Link Pearl. The intestinate expresses relief that the matter of Ramu has been laid to rest and requests your presence at the Waking Sands. So let's head on over to the Waking Sands. Because there is much still to be done. Still have an entire uh like two more primals to face here before the end well if it isn't my favorite adventure welcome back kazumi lame Philia awaits you within the solar please enter at your leisure which speaking of uh which I have to go to other settings for some reason you would think that language would be under sound but is not um, and to switch that off of Japanese for all of you because I would prefer the Japanese voice acting because the Japanese voice acting is phenomenal and vastly different. Um, but because I'm doing a let's play, we're going to use English voicing. I'm given to understand that the matter of Ramu has finally been resolved. Hmm, I fear resolve bespeaks a permanence we cannot rightly claim. Yet I am well satisfied that the Lord of Leaven will not trouble us in the foreseeable future. Your satisfaction is assurance enough for me. How fair is the investigation? Well, well enough, Songkut is sparing no effort. There are many and one, just as you suspected. Their purpose, however, eludes us still. I see. Ah, I have been meaning to ask, but is Alice quite well? It feels as if I have scarcely seen her in recent days. Oh, you haven't, and nor have I, alas. Alice has chosen to walk her own path, stubborn girl, but you may be assured that our destination remains the same. And on that note, I, may, I take my leave of you. I trust the Beldesian report will serve you well. I take it we can proceed as discussed. Why do you ask? You scarce need my permission to ask, to act. And Elfinel walks out as we walk in. It is good to see you, Kazumi. I have been looking forward to congratulating you on your triumph in the Twelveswood. Owing to your efforts, conflict has been averted. Truly you have done the Scions proud. With that, we can strike Ramu from the list. So, who's next? The Sahagan and Leviathan? The Lord of the World has not answered his minion's call of late, nor is he expected to do so in the near future. While the Sahagan remain as aggressive as ever, they lack the quantity of crystals required to call forth their god. As with the Sylphs, we can leave them to their own devices. For time, at least. For time, bears repeating, 
we can ill afford to fall complacent. It is as Yostola says, unless we know the minds of the beast tribes, we cannot predict with any certainty when Nectar Primal will return to plague the land. This being the case, we must proceed with as much haste as prudence as all ours. Any word on Titan? The Maelstrom keeps the Kobolds under constant observation. We shall hear from them ere long, you may depend upon it. Indeed, so then, of all the known primals that have been active in recent times, we are left with... Gridania. Wait, I mean, Karuda, who is the primal of the Ixal, who lived near Gridania. Yes, that's what I meant. I like Gita. She's fun. So many bombs to cover. Would that there were a more efficient way to conduct our surveys. Were he still with us, we should not long have wanted for a more practical solution. She's not wrong there. Where in the world are you, Chief? I think that was right. But one sure step at a time. Henceforth, the Order of the Twin Adder will handle all matters pertaining to the Sylphs under the sage guidance of the Seed Seers. I bid you all enjoy a moment's respite. You have earned it. Maybe I should have come and gotten these, this quest. I thought that it would just go straight into the next. I didn't think that this was like a pause. Oh well. Is there something else? Kazumi. I beg pardon. A man named La Habrea, sporting a red mask and robed in black. Twelve preserve. Prior to the calamity, the Asians took great pains to remain hidden. Why would they choose to cast off the veil of secrecy now? Cods, this bodes ill. We must take advantage of the present lull in primal hostilities and investigate this La Habrea. Learn all we can of him and his designs. I dread to think. Hey! Totoro! It's a self! A sylph in Thunalon. At long last, this one finds walking one Kazumi. This one is most dependable of these ones. It's sent by Elder One Frixio to help walking ones. This one is called Neroxia. This one comes as a friend. Let these ones be friends. A pleasure to meet you, Naraxia. All right. It's a sylph in Thonalon. Rather rare sight, considering, you know, how far freaking Thonalon is from Gridania. Not to mention, you know, Thonalon is kind of a desert. You know, desert, badlands type place. Like, not a great place for a literal plant creature. Yes, the Taros is ready to express her fright as she is to express uh, everything else. Not all of us are forged to the same steel as you, I'm afraid. But it takes all kinds to make a family. It pleases me to no end to see ours continue to grow. One by one, the people of Eorzea are beginning to unite. Cosme drawn to the hope that shines within you. Yet a darkness threatens to engulf this light. Have I ever doubted the Asian's presence, but that they have grown so brazen as to carry out their work in plain sight fills me with a sense of foreboding, of deep foreboding. Back from the wood, and Philly would have you investigate the mysterious La Habrea, Shadow of Darkness. I am afraid there is no rest for the weary, Cosme. We must delve further into the motivations of the masked man, the Essian known as La Habrea. This is an ideal moment to do so while our hands are not bound dealing with another primal. 
At present, we know little and less about the Asians. Only the destruction follows in their wake. I should not be surprised if these things are behind, if these beings are behind the chaos that racks the realm. If my fears prove to be reality, we must do all in our power to stop them. Earlier, I sent word to each grand company to solicit cooperation. The immortal flames responded to the effect that they have information on a potential sighting. This is intelligence that we can ill afford to ignore. Go speak with Flame Commander Swift at the Hall of Flames in Uldah to inquire further. How you go about the investigation thereafter, I leave wholly to your discretion. But whatever you do, never forget that we are dealing with the unknown. You cannot take too many pre precautions. Be safe, Kazumi. All right. Off to Ulda. I don't remember this, like, part of the, uh, the story at all, so I'm gonna be completely honest. <laughs> I really don't remember this part at all. Ah, home. <laughs> uh, I'm so used to Ulda. I really, um, like, look at this place. There's just so much here. And this is where I regular like this right here. This is where I regularly hang out. I come here on Cassandra and I just sit here and I hang out with all of my friends who are also here. Um, we chat and you know do dungeons and stuff like that regularly. So it's right next to the Etherite. It's right next to the Immortal Flames. And, you know, basically, usually right next to whatever event is going on as well. Right now, it is the Iterant Moogle. Moogle Tomes, which I don't have any because I, you know, am not high enough level to access the dungeons that give the uh, Tome Stones of Verity. So, but yeah, this, uh, th this place is where I am used to being. So, this is th this is where Cassandra, my norm my main character usually hangs out. So, that said, I think this is a good spot to end off the episode before we get too involved. Um we will pick up from here next time. So I do hope you've enjoyed. If you have, feel free to subscribe. You can check the video description down below for a link to the playlist. That way you can get caught up on any of the episodes you missed. And with that, I will see you all next time. See you later. <laughs>